Hi, garden update video 2015. It's the beginning of the season, first part of June. Some things have come up a lot already, such as some of these strawberries and the chives on the other side of this bed. And then June 1st is our last frost date. So it's the beginning of June, so that's why there's just some little sprouts. Our corn is about six inches tall. This year we brought in a bunch of lilac trees and daylilies. We put daylilies kind of just here and there. Got daylilies on top of our water collection tanks. Just sprouts in this bed, but uh, you can see where we sort of stash daylilies here and there and the lilac trees. This will give us something green and more like April and May before everything comes up. Got the white clover coming up. It's awesome because it attracts the bees. But there's lots of hollyhock back here. Let's walk back here. We've got some sort of a fungus on the hollyhock, so we're going to have to deal with that. Lots of lotus blossoms. This are already closed for the day. But you can see the Rocky Mountain Pinstemon back there. Red, some red clover. But yeah, these hollyhock mixed in with these Rocky Mountain Pinstemon and Eaton's Pinstemon. They got a type of fungus. I'll have to figure that out. But uh, we'll better look at what's coming up in the garden here. In this grow bed, we've got some cabbage and some Jerusalem artichokes. Lettuce and, of course, a day lily. Before things get green, you see, still have those day lilies in your grow bed, so kind of our idea there. Columbine sort of came up and then blossomed sort of strange. I think it's because we had a real warm spell and then cold spell and then it was kind of normal weather for first of June. So some things are stunted and some things are ahead and some things are just getting started. But everything here is new. Brought in all these plants this year. More lilacs that we brought in. All around this gazebo, we brought in some vinca, daily lilac, the willow trees from last year are doing good. Just noticed we got some fire sticks poking out. Got one on either side of this door, and they both got some fire sticks coming out. It's just cool because they have yet to blossom. I put them there, they're kind of small plants, so it's kind of neat to see that. Got some daylily blossoms coming up as well over here. Got some gray water beans going. These are watered from the gray water coming out of my bathroom sink. Just goes straight through the wall. I've made videos of that stuff if you want to check them out. Alright, the backyard. Our gray water area is doing awesome. Columbine already went to seed. It was one of those things that sort of came out when we had this early warm snap. But lots of day lilies and some chives. Cool blue flower there. I'm not sure what that is. We had some good irises. They came out and made it during that early warm, warm snap. homing pigeon. Here's the rabbit tree. We did a video on that. Got some quail and some baby pheasants with their chicken hen that raised them. I did a pheasant video recently if you want to check out that.
tiny goat. Got the greenhouse. We'll see what's going on in there in a minute. Some chickens, some little bantams. Everything in the garden. The gardens are planted, but those are planted just uh, at the very end of May, so they haven't really... Not much has come up yet. Some little sprouts. That malady our hollyhocks are having is this hollyhock-specific mold or fungus, and it's from them getting, getting too much water. And I notice hollyhocks do really well when they have lots of water, so apparently they might be a little picky if that mold is present. This is one of the first daylilies. We brought in probably a hundred daylilies this year. Uh, row of fruit trees. Berry bush. Lots of things about to blossom in this area. Got some oregano and irises, some different fruit trees. Some sedges coming out of the pond there. Got to be careful with sedges. They can uh, poke through pond liners that are rubber, like EPDM liners, not the preformed plastic ones like this. I got the chickens back there. And the crazy goats. A cold frame is doing what it's supposed to this time of year. Sort of bolting. But there you go. This used to be the duck pond, but I'm trying to restore it to its original condition where it was a nice little fish pond. So there you go, the beginning of the season for the backyard. Give you guys a closer look at this area. Got some um, Virginia creeper there, Rocky Mountain Pinstamen, the red ones the Eaton Pinstamen, Lilac, Willow, the mullein. This is one of those hollyhocks that we had to cut all the leaves off of because of that fungus. Some really tall Eaton's pinstamen. <laughs> Big Rocky Mountain pinstamen. Lots of uh, lotus blossoms. More of the trimmed back hollyhocks. Blackberry bush is going crazy. And then we get to the garden, which is just starting to come up. Here's some good mouse control. Yeah. He must live inside the dock. What we really like in the garden is the strawberries that the kids like to pick, and then the chives. We also have our lettuce that we use. and So we are eating out of the garden with almost every meal. And I thought I'd mention those are Jerusalem artichokes. These taller plants here in the back. And that's a good substitute for potatoes. Much healthier for you. Going to feed the fish again. They can see me from all the way back here. The sunfish anyway. They're all waiting for me. 
smart ones anyway. Fish. They're eating over there. And then the koi usually shows up right here. There she is. Those tiny goats. Patriarch of the goat family. He wants to say hello. And then we've got chicken the chicken. Still got the raven hanging out with us. Alright, I didn't make the 2015 beginning of the season video, so you probably just watched that. Now you get to see the end of the season, end of September, garden update 2015. Well, we brought in tons of lilac trees. We brought in a bunch of rocks, wood, probably a hundred daylily plants, at least 50 red hot pokers. This is our strawberry bed. Several types of strawberries in there and some chives. Got all these little lilac bushes. Working on some permaculture ideas with that. This is the front garden. Corn's done better in the past, but it's not doing too bad. This uh, Jerusalem artichoke, our first year doing that, it's nine feet tall or so. We had a little bit of cold weather and the leaves started turning yellow. I figured I should do our end of the season garden update before everything dies. Brought in lots more rocks and wood for the pond. Driftwood like pieces. The lotus blossoms are doing awesome this year. We got a nice big koi in there. A couple new fish actually. The hollyhock had a mildew issue. So they didn't do as well this year. Brought in that wood statuary there. You can see we've tried to make just little decorative spots here and there. All these are watered from a roof of some kind. See a couple of little decorative spots there by the shed. So that's the review from here. Let's walk down this way. Some lavender, columbine, the raspberry bushes took off here. See we continue just some more decorative stuff going along. Some big fire pokers. Brought in lots of those. But these aren't uh, these aren't a second year. Those aren't new. But I'll show you the new ones. Got five pheasants in the gazebo now. I made a video on that if you want to check it out. Eventually this gazebo will be covered in willows and lilacs. Some 
pear trees and willow trees over here. Uh, let's take a look at the very front. You can see some of the lilacs we brought in. We actually dug that tree up and moved it. Some Virginia creeper and some of the daylilies. Let's look up the other side. There's all the red hot pokers we brought in. A whole bunch of them. Now let's go take a look at another area. Alright, in the backyard. Here's our pond. It had a leak and I fixed it. I made a video of that if you want to check it out. There's the chickens in the background. We got the goats over there. But uh, let's take a look around this yard here. All the trees are doing awesome. Got lots of fruit trees. I'm trying to put a fruit tree like every five feet. A gray water area here doing all sorts of cool stuff. Got lots of different things going on in here. Got the bunny hutch. Made a video on that. Got the greenhouse. These gardens. Cucumbers are doing pretty good. Other things are kind of wrapping up. Got all our fruit trees. Let's, let's look in the greenhouse here, see what's going on. And in the greenhouse, pretty much just have the the usual tomato jungle. So that's what we have going on in here. Well, there's the rest of the view of the back. I hope you enjoyed our garden update into the season and beginning of the season. 2015.